It's a head scratcher for taxpayers in North St. Louis County, with many calling it a waste of your money. Hiring a security guard to guard an abandoned building overnight. Fox News Elliot Davis trying to get to the bottom of this strange deal. That is tonight's You Paid For It. The city of Jennings bought this old abandoned buildings in a deal okayed by the mayor and the majority of the council, but it's turning into a big financial drain for taxpayers. This in a North County city with a myriad of problems. So far, you've spent $127,000 since April to keep watch on the building overnight. This is terrible. Here's Jennings Councilman Gary Johnson, who says a guard was okayed by the mayor and the majority of the council. We are paying a, a security company uh, to secure this abandoned uh, fire damaged building. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, basically a waste of money. Councilman Johnson was able to get a picture of the patrol vehicle with your pricey security guard inside. Johnson says the night he took the picture, the guard was asleep and was across the street at a gas station instead of at the building you're paying him the guard. The councilman reported the incident to higher ups. He got this communications back from Jennings Director of Public Safety, Mr. Johnson. After checking on the information I received from security supervisor, I informed him that his officers need to be positioned at the facility, not the gas station. Councilman Johnson says there's a lot not to like about this deal. They're supposed to be here from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. So what happens all the rest of the time? It's just open then. So, I mean, if you want to get in, you can just come during the day. Like we're out here now, no one's securing the building. Uh, we want to know what is the purpose of the security company being out here. Uh, spending that type of money. I did reach out to Jennings Mayor Yolanda Austin, who didn't get back to me. While Jennings was spending all that money for a security guard, the Department of Natural Resources was looking at other shortcomings at the building. DNR said in its report criticizing the city that the facility was not keeping potential hazardous waste containers closed, that there was no emergency spill kits, and that no up-to-date fire extinguishers were there. The report said nothing about needing a security guard. You just sit out here and watch the building. So, I mean, that's really, that's really not a productive way to use money, just to have someone sit here. We could ask the police department to patrol a little extra right here, you know what I mean, instead of spending over $120,000. Citizens and even some of the council taking a major step to get to the bottom of city spending. They're sending off petition signatures to the state auditor's office later this month to try to get the state auditor to come in and audit the books to find out where the money is going. Of course I'll stay on top of this deal. After all, you paid for it.